In Honduras, a new voluntary standard for the production of melons is being agreed upon. It's a historic moment and the culmination of years of work. Esto es muy importante porque pues le va dando todas las pautas o directrices a seguir para producir melones de buena calidad y que cuenten con todas las reglas de inocuidad de alimentos. Melon production takes place here in Cheluteca, in the south of the country. The sector is currently experiencing very positive growth and it creates approximately 10,000 seasonal jobs ensuring an important income for many economically vulnerable families here. Most of the produce makes its way to Puerto Cortes, where it's loaded onto ships for the United States and Europe. The future looks positive for the industry, but this wasn't always the case. In 2008, after 59 people in North America suffered from a salmonella outbreak, the US Food and Drug Administration issued a health alert regarding the importation of melons from a Honduran company, putting thousands of local jobs at risk. Melon producers had to call upon international food safety standards, central to which is the Codex Alimentarius, a partnership of the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, and the World Health Organization, WHO. Considerar las normas del Codex eh, dentro de las políticas públicas es importante porque son herramientas que se acuerdan además entre todos los países miembros, que se ponen a disposición de los propios países miembros. El Comité Nacional del Códex eh, trabajó desde un inicio en la elaboración o la adopción de esta normativa y esto lo hicimos conjuntamente con la empresa privada. The melon industry in Honduras is dominated by a number of private companies who partnered with the government in setting standards. Nosotros actualizamos todas las normativas del FDA, de Global Gap, eh, de las certificaciones de BRC, de Tesco, así como todas las normativas del Códex Alimentarios que nos permiten a nosotros mantener todos los controles de inocuidad que garanticen que la salud del consumidor nunca va a estar en riesgo. The government's National Plant and Animal Health Service, SANASA, is providing staff who carry out tests to ensure that standards are being maintained. El SENASA es el encargado de velar porque todas las normativas nacionales e internacionales, específicamente las del Códex, se implementen de la forma correcta. Además de eso, también se hacen análisis de residuos en laboratorios, tanto de la empresa como en laboratorios nacionales encargados de verificar que esos melones pues, no van contaminados ni microbiológicamente ni con residuos. As well as essential infrastructural changes that have been made to these production plants, the workforce too are constantly reminded of their own responsibilities regarding hygiene. And improvements to food safety is now impacting on their living standards, as the company is now helping these workers to improve their living conditions at home, seeing domestic hygiene has a direct relationship with their business. The company has helped workers to build chicken coops which helps to protect their fields from possible contamination. And again, with the aim of improving sanitation and health, some of the poorest in the community are being assisted by the company to build their own homes. In Honduras, there is a very interesting topic, which is the vinculation of the private sector to the initiatives of the government. And in this context, we have found algunos actores de ese sector que les ha interesado trabajar en el tema de la reducción de la pobreza y los resultados han sido realmente muy valiosos. As can be seen here in Choluteca, the Codex Alimentarius has not only helped to improve company profits and allowed local workers to earn a living, but through a greater awareness of the importance of food safety, many benefits have also been extended into the community such that now food safety itself is playing an essential role in local development. <laughs>